I'm pretty sure I won't appear in this vlog at all. <laughs> at least this part when I'm holding camera myself, pointing at myself. Whatever. We're just coming back from a pub. Is it good? We're coming back from a pub where we were kind of brainstorming for a Magda's painting. I mean, if you could call that brainstorming because I was half sleeping, it's a really tiring Saturday. And there was this really cool bumblebee on the window. I was like, ah, oh, I need to shoot it in slow motion. And then I changed the settings and the camera asked me something and I pressed OK and I formatted the card with the large part of the vlog that I already shot. Um, so now I only Yay! have footage of a bumblebee <laughs> and it's Saturday evening. Um, so I kind of need to do everything tomorrow. I am. But on the other hand, it's good because the footage I shot was kind of was okay. I wasn't completely satisfied with it, but I said, okay, I can still use it. So now I'm kind of forced to redo it, which is okay. You know, I learned my lesson. So here's the bumblebee, I guess. Yes, it's proper summer in London. It's like 25, 26 degrees. If you don't believe me. Half naked people is walking around the streets in London. It's a pretty rare sight. Not so rare when you're lying in a park because as soon as the sun comes outside, everyone goes like almost naked. Usually the guys, women, not so much, sadly. I'm just thinking now, how many times have I started my vlog with like, telling what the weather is like in London? <laughs> we're going to buy printer ink because yesterday we were printing our wedding invitations and we ran out of ink. So this is our Sunday mission. Um, and this is also me recording the vlog for the second time. Yay! We need to make a plan for our future life. That's exciting. She's so excited. That's she just funny. can't hide it. I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm just boring. It always hurts me when I need to buy printer ink. It's just so expensive. Fun fact. Did you know that printer ink is one of the most expensive liquids in the world? Well, I, I mean, it's not so much fun as it is a fact. But uh, why does it need to be so expensive? It's so bloody heavy. You don't need to just hold it normally like the, you, you don't need to extend your arm completely. Just no, but then you, you can see my pores or like not in perfect makeup or something. Oh, come on, now it's good. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about weather now. <laughs> That's what you do doing vlog. <laughs> yeah, I do feel like an idiot, especially that I need to hold it with two hands. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> that's you're really what, good, you're a natural. You that, that's what you do, that's how you look like. Just so you know. <laughs> oh yeah, it's hot. You look terrible. <laughs> you go on, go on. What? What did you say? I look terrible. Oh, you look great, amazing. Because you were holding with both hands. You... I will see how I feel. As long as you have something to talk about, then I guess it's normal because you're just yeah. talking about some stuff but if you're just telling this bullshit about weather every, not, not every time 
but then I go and then talk about interesting stuff. I start with the weather and anyway, I noticed that I talk about the weather, so I won't talk about the weather anymore. I mean, it's vlog, it's video, you can see it's bloody hot. Yeah, you don't need to say that. Yeah, so I have to say that it's not that easy. First of all, I feel like an idiot. Second, people look at me like I'm an idiot. And yeah, it's hard to um, come with the idea to, to say something. Oh, they just look at me like I'm an idiot. I hope it's recorded. <laughs> um, yeah, it's hard to come up with an interesting idea to say something cool to entertain your audience. What does this face? I'm just, I just want to say that I'm going to be editing this in, in the end. So, you know, imagine I would be a screw and just cut it now or like cut you in the middle of a sentence. I would never do that, but please continue. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I want a I mean, the Slovenian part of them, the Polish are still waiting. So we pretty much did everything from scratch by ourselves, yeah? So Magda um, drew everything and wrote down everything um, and then I scanned it and made it look even nicer. Uh, and then we printed it and then the rest you saw. Um, this wax is really cool, so this sealing wax. It comes in sticks like this and then you burn it like a candle, but be really careful when using it because it's not a normal wax, so it's not like a bees wax or anything, but it's the same thing that goes into a glue gun. So Magda just dropped one. <laughs> onto her finger and it burns like hell, it really does. It's like proper burns, so now she needs to stick her finger into the glass. Well, you should know better. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Sorry for a totally uncinematic vlog this week, but we kind of bound to house today because we get stuff to do. So, you know, there's only so much you can do in a house when you need to do share loads of stuff anyway. So, so as you see, so, have, so, so as I said earlier, uh, we made a plan today, kind of a future plan for us. So what's going to be going on, you know, what will we be doing, what you know, what, in what, which direction we're going. Um, and I think that's a pretty good thing to do. So it's kind of, we both, you know, you put on the table what you want to do with your life pretty much, and then find like, you know, the same direction and kind of go for it. This month was exactly two years since I moved to London because uh, Magda came one, um, one month after me. So I've been here for two years now. 
and we were just talking like, yesterday i think uh, about how <clears throat> when we came we were both without jobs we didn't know anyone um basically we came here with nothing and now in two years we both have pretty good jobs i would say you know making good money and um and we kind of came to a point where we where we kind of feel comfortable and you know we, we but we both want to make like a next step so not to get stuck in these you know nine to five jobs and driving around the whole days um but it's you know, every time you go a step further, you kind of come to a stop like, oh, I don't think I can make it. But if you remind yourself that two years ago you came here with nothing and you managed to come to where you are now. So, you know, you remind yourself that you can do it. You're able to do it. So we'll see how it goes in the future. Anyway, what I wanted to say is it's good to make such a plan so you can see, you know, where you want to go and regardless to how hard this goal might seem if you then break it down into chunks like i don't know in one year i want to do this let's say i want to make a film and then if you break it down okay in one year i want to make a film this means that i have 12 months to do it so in first month i need to do this i don't know write a script and then if you break it down so i have four weeks and in the first week I need to write, I don't know, one page and then you even break it down. So in the first day I need to come up with a character. I don't know, maybe not the best example, but still, if you break it down into really, really micro chunks, it suddenly becomes like this really, really, really simple task. So, you know, if you do every day, you do three really simple things that lead to this bigger goal, it suddenly becomes like, oh yeah, this really is doable. You know, you can really make this. So on this point, I would recommend to anyone who's trying to kind of get their life sorted to try a fifth, five minute, sorry, five minute journal. Google it. Um, it's basically it's a journal that takes you five minutes in the morning and then five minutes in the evening. And in the morning, you just write down your goals for that day. It goes a bit deeper and, and, and it might seem a bit to some people a bit too philosophical or whatever it is really not you can buy it actually they are pre-made so you have all the questions um, already written and printed but they're like 20 quid each which is quite a lot i think for something that has basically one page printed over and over again so if you go on amazon and check five minute journal you have the written pages and then just rewrite it to your journal and just you know rewrite it every morning it It'll take you exactly one minute and it really does work because it kind of through all day the day you have in your head okay i need to do this i need to do this and you feel like productive and in the end of the day you always reflect through what happened to the day so it's a it's a it's a nice tool try it just i don't know try it for two three weeks if you see that it's just doesn't help you leave it that's kind of it for this week um next week there's not gonna be a vlog because i'm gonna be in madrid and then from madrid i'm flying directly to slovenia and i'm gonna be pretty busy um so sorry for that if you know someone is really angry if not you know whatever the vlog is gonna get some really really serious overhaul so um, i'm gonna redo it quite a bit the, um, so these weekly vlogs will still stay, especially if we're going for a trip, because I love doing this stuff, but it's gonna become much more film oriented. So if you love films, you might want to stay on this channel. And if you love making films, then you definitely want to stay on this channel. Um, I don't want to talk more about it. I talked a bit in, in the past. Um, if I don't know if you watched any videos, but I went to interview a friend and this is kind of the stuff I'm going to be doing. Plus some other really exciting stuff, at least for me. Okay, I'm going to finish here because I'm just blabbling. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Like, Just click the button. Click the like button if you liked it. If you didn't like, and you, I guess you can click on like or what. That's it. Thanks. Cheers. See you in two weeks.